hi everyone yes so welcome to an amazing an amazing saturday morning with me rabia elise right rabia rabia names have changed from rabia to rabia it's crazy seasons that we are in and it's a crazy time for our generation to voice for that that is protective but to also learn to educate all the colors in our generation that young people have to be educated on that countries would have to learn to accept colors that sometimes we have to say that i've mentioned that in our previous discussions that when Rabia elise grew up and i was young we grew up in a household that was different to our power community when we changed houses we changed to that and when our mama was not there anymore we changed to a community that was different to the community that we were coming from so we were born in chicago south africa right born to book street right 23a the rugby world cup moments of 1994 when the apartheid era ended for the south african community and when our mama anna really moved from the, the from that that was she came from a family that she had to grow up in a fast-paced life right and she grew up in a european household and the europeans are uh, in our eyes as people that enslaved us but in Rabia elisa's eyes it is all the colors that are being revealed to mankind and the things that can be mankind can be to exposed to in this world and it's sometimes revealed to us in ways so that you would have to find the protectiveness and you would have to educate generations through that that they can be exposed to when they find themselves with when i've mentioned in our previous discussion last week that when or the week before that when humanity are discovered who's gonna discover humanity and that fact that our generation finds it challenging to accept and to educate our generation are not allowed in season to educate that that they find the protectiveness in and that they find themselves protective by and it is that that it is i say it is a non-negotiable right from wrong education it is an education that america educates at all the colors in america that educates it is still america that finds it challenging in themselves when they sometimes find themselves challenged by european discussions and by european ways and they sometimes gets angry about it but they are the same america that educates the same rubia is the same person that educates with mama anna when to go and pray in the malvina house mama anna was praying but rubia was the little girl that did not listen to the prayer moment but that look at the situation and that learned that this world is like this and mama anna was in that there and Shunet says that i do not care what your opinion about malvina is but you get to know the person malvina and to understand the situation and i say to Antunet, but the protective environment is is that we are not in argument but we are discussing this matter and i listen to my sister in a sisterly way and my sister is firm on education and america is firm on the education and europe is firm on the, on the education and malvina's lifestyle choices are firm and the protective environment of rabia elise are firm and our generation would have to learn that protectiveness is where we find ourselves in accepting in listening in applying right from wrong in doing that that requires quiet in our seasons but in honestly learning that all these colors are going to be revealed in one generation and it's either that we educate one another out of that season and when you are family in a generation you listen to family because humanity is all family and our household is family and Antoinette and brother Zach is firm with the education that they do not care what you think about the bodies the information is interesting Rabia Elise but it is that this world is like this and we are firm on the education of the church that Mama Anna educated the prayer and Rabia Elise said but on the moment when I was in church and I was walking and I was praying then I almost walked against the wall and where was the prayer moment where was the protectiveness where was the environment of protective in that moment and our generation in a season that finds themselves in war discussions would have to listen to our education they would have to firmly listen and apply in their countries the education that comes from all of our houses because Rabia's way is away Rabia's gonna want away 
joy. Malvina is going to want to say, everyone is going to want to say that this is where I'm at in my season. And I don't negotiate that. But everyone is going to learn to be protective with where they're at. And no one negotiate their protectiveness with nothing at all. And when we have one another's back on that day, and we say that where was the person who had Tanya's back, my cousin's back on that day, because the whole Pau community is always making a treaty, but the whole Pau community is chasing one another down. And Rubia says, and on that day, I stand direct and I say that this Malvina, if you are the person that day behind my back, and I find myself that my Mama Anna was in your room, and Mama Anna was praying, so in the whole story, the protectiveness is the Malvina house, and in the whole story, Malvina is now in death, that the argument is that Rubia understands that the true Hyson has been manipulated, and she doesn't know who manipulated it, and there the Rubia says, and to net educated law, Rabia is the human resources educator. The humanity finds themselves in a challenge. The government of this world says we only apply to Zelensky and to Russia the education that is the law room that is firm. Rabia says, but I'm the human in Russia, maybe, or in Ukraine. And when the human is there, where's the protectiveness for the human? Because if the laws is, if the law room is gonna discuss the discussion, then the human being are being enslaved in the country. And who's gonna be there to be defending the human being in that country? And that is where we are at in this season with our discussions, with our indications that we are firm about, that we do not negotiate about, but that we say that the human rights is that. I mean, human resources. And there I've learned that the office is the discussion in the law room. And when the law room discusses, they want to stay in the law and that is the office. Us. But when society, brother Anton, finds himself on the streets on that day, then he's not in the law room with Rabia. He's not in the office room with Antoinette or in the law room with Antoinette. He's on the streets on that day. And where's the protective environment in this discussion for brother Anton who's walking on the streets on a daily basis and the law wants to control the whole situation of it? I always say that there's nothing wrong with the new world order, but the education of the new world order. How do they implement it in the community? We are business restructuring our generation but the office environment it be has become an office environment a discussion in the law room has become a building that is the office environment and the human protective right of that is where we are at with this discussion today and where's the protective right for humanity and for the ukrainians and for the sudanians and for everyone that finds themselves in in this war discussion in the world and where the lawyers want to make a decision and humanity has to wait for the lawyers to make a decision in this world our whole family educated and Sunit educated, the result educated, Malvina gave her opinion on it, and everyone is firm on their opinions, the Humbabanis gave their opinion, and my question today is, where's the human protective right for everyone who finds themselves in the discussion room of humanity on this very earth? Certain things goes by the name of it. And that's what we have learned and that's what we are fine with. This is called a traveling document, right? This traveling document is amazing. But the word of this traveling document is called a passport. And we do not argue with the implementations of the office environment and of the management of all of these amazingnesses in the world. We do not argument with the fact that this is called when you pass on and when you are deceased that day. This is called a passport. We do not say that Rabbi is saying that the vocabulary is required. No. Rabbi is saying that when this is called a passport. And when Rabbi uses this document, and this is business, this is office, then Rabbi is the person, the human being that uses this document. The document is the office building. Rabia is the person that finds himself in the world of the office that is also the world where the human being has to be at, that is the everyday reaction of the human being. When this document is called a passport, I say that I say it's a travel document. And some people say, but they don't recognize it as a travel document because there's a lot of travel documents. You meant that they decided to name it a passport. And when humanity decided to name this a passport, the passport had an evoking photo in it. 
and the vacant photo in this document are recognized by the person that is either a vacant photo or a beer is the person in front of you. And when we take this travel document and we travel around the world with it, we book ourselves on a flight and the flight is unquestionable and questionable sometimes. And when we book that flight, they say, send me your passport. And when they say, send me your passport, some people never knew if they came back, if they went back or where it came from or where it was going. Some people said, but the world is firm and we're going to have to find a way around all of this. We are saying, on the day that the world is firm, that they're going to have to find their way around about it. There's an office team. And the office team implemented the process. And the office team have got control over the whole process of this that is called a passport that is to repair at least today changed into a travel document because I'm passing and know where I'm staying here, my birthright, and no one is killing me anywhere that I'm going or, or coming from. And when I travel and I book on my flight and the whole world has a good laugh because the whole world manages the process by a passport because today we like this person and tomorrow we don't like this person. In the whole world, there is the officers that manages the war in Russia, Ukraine, in Sudan, in countries that have been in war. And they make a decision that they want to hold the war in Russia, Ukraine. Russia is either struck or Ukraine is either struck and no one cares because that's the process. And some people say, but if that's the process, then I call this a passport. And someone says, because if I am in Russia, Ukraine at that moment, and I find myself in a challenging situation, and the moment that I need to travel away, that I learn that people travel in this world, and I work in the office, and people send their passports through, and I send it to some other country, and I say, let's pass for that person, because in that whole discussion room was me a human being, and humanity didn't even think to protect me as a human being in that whole Russia, Ukraine war, and humanity was the whole time busy with passport, then passport, then passport, then. And the Yashir Russia Ukrainian person that's angry that comes out of the war reasons differently and they say that to me on that day, this document's name is a passport. And then they make a treaty with someone in this world and they say that if you see that document on an email, then that person is a passport person. That person is a travel document person because that's how angry the Russian people in war, when they come out of that war, that's how angry they get. And when it comes to the human resources group of teams on this earth, it is amazing and we have learned the human rights of it. The lawyers have learned the human rights of it. The prisoner sits in prison and they don't want to go to prison because someone that sits in the parliament seat have put them in prison about it. And discussing in the world is crazy. The lawyers can manage the world amazingly. But the lawyers feel that they still want to be angry because the Americans and the African Americans still argue with them because of black and of white and they feel that they have not done wrong because these apartheid things was required and the whole world look at the situation and Putin and Zelensky argues and bomb one another again and someone says but then again there comes a message and say go and book someone else's passport and it goes crazy in this world. The only requirement on that day is for everyone that when we can do right, why do we not do right on that day? Why is it that this is right, this is wrong, but I keep it on wrong, but I want to do right on that day? And when we learn that the situation is like this is now an opportunity for humanity to learn that the situation and the argument in this world was crazy. That humanity don't have to blame themselves about it. And that humanity can manage these processes in a way that is protected for everyone. And that everyone who's even the army that stands in Russia, Ukraine, that are the frontliners that are being bombed up, that are Malvina and Rubia today, Mama Anna is deceased, Papa Yapi, Papa, Papa Yalik, Umpi Yalik is deceased, and Rubia's papa's also name is Yalik, so it's a whole amazing education. But Rabia and Malvina is in the front line. Malvina sits in Netherlands. The bomb goes off in Ukraine. Rabia gets angry in New Zealand because Malvina had a New Orleans well dressy on. And Rabia says, Malvina, in that New Zealand, in that Netherlands, I fucking strike you down. And the whole world listens to the whole fucking situation. 
and to be an educate still firmly to the whole world i say that today your fucking reason but whoever is guilty of fucking blaming this passport on my day is guilty and in that whole crazy discussion of people that wants to manage the world and control the world it's amazing our opinions are amazing our upbringings are, our upbringings and our educations and everyone's mamas and papas in this world are amazing but there's a right and a wrong amongst all of these amazingnesses. And those are the rights and the wrongs that we cannot negotiate about. It is that when we allow ourselves to listen to all of this amazingness in the world, and to listen to all of these arguments in the world, and to listen to how we are involved in all of these arguments in the world, and how our names and our family names have been involved, and people have managed us in this way in this world. And we have a right from wrong on that day. And I find myself on that day, and someone mentioned my name, and they knew they were wrong, and they knew they were sometimes trying to put me in danger. Or they might not have known what was going on. Because according to Rabia and Malvina, they were babies on that day. When our mamas in South Africa were having a prayer meeting we were babies in that room oh my mama Anna probably didn't know about all the arguments and rulings in the world Malvina's mama and papa might have known because they were church classes they were leaders and the discussion in this world is that some people are educated about the process and the way of how the world is managed and amongst that crazy prayer room was a little baby Rebea Elise that was born in the year 1983 and I don't negotiate my birthright with nothing and no one and the people who manages the process needs to learn that Rebea Elise don't care if you are mafia or if your pasta is not part of the mafia teams of the world Rebea Elise says my mama was in the prayer room I'm the baby in this discussion you are in my sister Antoinette's house you are wearing the Orleans ball clothes on your birthday my birthday is on the 22nd of November the same year 2022 the discussion in the world looks like this and I find myself in this room and then I do not care if Malvina's papa was a pastor and the pastors in the world are T.D. Drake's and he's the main man and Sarita Drake says he's the gangster woman and Rabia and Lee say I do not fucking care on that day but I tell all of y'all that are managing your processes that this is Rabia Lee's Mama Anna said she never could read or write. See, Mama B. Elise might look like this, might look like that, might look like this, because there's a process even like this in this world. That when you look like Oprah Winfrey, then Oprah Winfrey gives an answer and say that day Rabia dies. When Malvina looks like someone in America, then Mal America gives an answer and say that day Malvina dies. When Brother Zach looks like that person in America, then America sends a message to Dubai and Beyonce goes and dances in Dubai and an evoke yellow dressy and Rabia Elise is now the message in all of that. And Joe Biden goes and he puts a whole message on and he stands with the Indian Prime Minister that looks like Brother Richard. And Brother Joe Biden says, and this Brother Richard came next to me, who is this one? And so Africa goes and they go and react on a passport process. And on that day when parliamentary leaders want to lead the world on that day, humanity would have to make a decision for themselves. Because in this world was implemented a new world order. And when a new world order is implemented, there's an order before that. And how many people they order in that year, no one knows about. What the new world, the newest Nasavat means, we don't know about. The only thing we know is that some people in this world find themselves in the process and they are the celebrity house. And I love them because they are my mama and I am my brother Richard. But the human being in there that's in America doesn't even know how to manage the whole process yet. Because they send messages to South Africa and the South African suits one another down. This one looks like this today, that one looks like that today, that one looks like that today, shoot that one down. And that's a world process, it's a world order. And Rabia says I make a firm statement that that looks like my mama Anna. But my mama Anna is my mama. My mama's womb had seven children. The education to Rabia Elise came to South Africa in a different way. America's process was thus, and America is updating their process with the new world about it. And Putin is part of it, Zelensky is part of it, America writes in the poem, America says Rabia, the whole world is part of it, the FBI is part of that nonsense. Rabia says, and while all of you all are fighting about it and being part of that nonsense called the new world order, 
and you'll run around my name and you'll call Malvina to America and Malvina goes and study law after Antoinette goes and study law. Stephen Babani's daughter go and study law after Antoinette go and study law. And they, Malvina runs to America about it. After Malvina comes back to America, she runs into Antoinette's house about it. And Malvina's family runs into Antoinette's house after that. And the person after, a few years after that, went into Antoinette's house with a gun and looking for the children in Antoinette's house. And the children were all locked in a room. Rabia says, and that a crazy, amazing process that you all fucking called family. Rabia says, I love family. But the protective right of humanity on that day. And if Facebook all closes this page, I don't know. I don't mind. The whole world says fucking on Facebook the whole day. They say it in words. They say it in a fucking post. And it's there. Rabia says to all of y'all who manages this amazingness. That this is Rubia and Lisa's opinion about that, that you all still try to find a way around it. I was entangled on my birth on the 22nd of 11 in 1983 while I was born a baby. You see, I'm 40 years old in the amazingness of it. And I was tangled and the doctor said, Mama, your child's heartbeat is not going to make it or it's going to make it. And Mama Anna said, my firstborn daughter, you and I, was alive and she was deceased six months after that. My last born, seventh born daughter, Rebea Elise is born. And doctor, I appreciate my daughter because her name was given to me by someone in the Northern Cape even before Rebea was born, many years before 1969. The auntie said, if you have a daughter, mama, you call her Rebea. The auntie's name used to be Rebea, sister Martin Spietma in Calvinia. Rubia is born in Powell Community in Pontebox Street, number 23A. And while Rubia is born the year 1983, Malvina is born the year before that. And the situation followed us for years, and they called you a baby Jesus on this earth. And the Bible said, but you don't have to kill the baby Jesus because the story is finished and humanity understands the education. Humanity can explain the education and they can implement it better. Because humanity are not dumb, Mama Anna say, I didn't read and write, but humanity have an education. Mama Anna says, I cannot read and write. But everyone knows right from wrong on this earth. And no one on this earth is scared of no one. And when everyone tries to manage this process called a passport, and they learn that there's an office that designed this, and there's a human being that travels on it. There's the person and there's the photo. And some try to manipulate and abuse it. And Rebia says, my mama Anna moved and she walked from Calvinia, 1969, on a Tolbach earthquake. And when she got to Powell by the years that Rebia was born, probably 1982, 1981, when she got to, to Chicago, Powell, she was already staying in Powell by Powell Mountain. And she was staying by the by the Worcester side of Powell community those years. My Mama Anna and Papa Yapi Sagila. And when Mama Anna and when Rubia was born and Mama Anna found herself in Powell, Nelson Mandela came out of prison in that Powell community. And he came out of prison in the year 1994. In South Africa, New Zealand played rugby those years and my brother Richard was work working those years for the South African army and for the South African security and defense force and the police forces. And when Brother Richard was finished working, he was abused and humiliated. But my Brother Richard educated us an important life lesson. And he said, for your rights and for your education, he gave us an icon. He took us to New Orleans Park when we were, we were just so young. He always educated us about familyness. And he took us to New Orleans Park and when he took us to New Orleans Park, he said, this is Ben's children kiss. And he said, in this Ben's are food. And he asked us, and he took all our brothers and sisters, and he was the second oldest. He was, he was the second oldest. He was younger than Brother Martin, second oldest man in the house. And he took us to New Orleans Park, and we always educated, because he always educated Powell community. And he said, this is a bun, and in this bun is food, and some people in this world still eat out of it. And he says, today I tell your children to eat out of this bin. And we look at Brother Richard and we say, my brother, our mama is working. And we cannot eat out of this bin. And he says, eat out of this bin. 
and he scrapes in the bun and he looks for stuff for us. And we have a good laugh because he took us on crazy journeys. He was explaining things in this life crazily to us. And he has an acorn and New Orleans Park has an acorn. And we got the acorn down and we opened the acorn and the acorn had such nuts in. And we opened the acorn and we eat the acorns on that day. And he took a bird from the tree and he made a little fire and he made us a whole birdie bride in the park. In the Orleans park. He was very young. Everyone was teenagers. And he made us a very bride with the birds in the Orleans park. And he says then, when you eat out of a bun, they tell you, you either eat out of a bun or you die or you be alive. And in this world, people manage those processes. And he says, but we are all not dumb about this world situation. He didn't say it with words, but the education. He's our Rousseau Peterson's father, yes, her, our, her, her late father. And our brother Richard educated us that there's choices in life. He says, and sometimes it's fine to eat out of those bins, but sometimes people really sometimes force you to eat out of those bins. And when humanity forces one another to eat out of the bins, there's acorns on the trees, and you either eat the nut in the acorn on that day. He says, because the challenges in this world look crazy. But we do not have to argue about what we do not have. He says, on that day and year when humanity argues about it, Rebea. That's how I listen to his education. And then go to a tree, go and get an acorn, and go and make a pot of food on that day. If you can't, you can't. And if you can make a pot of food, then do that because such is family in this universe. And the family can't do that on that day. And families don't want to force themselves to want to have the best plate of food on the table. He says, then he goes to the army and then there's war in this world. Because the family can't accept the fact that the world is amazing and that everyone in this world is family. And that on the day that you do not have, you find a way to have. You either make sure that there's something. You either go and look on the tree if there's an acorn. You either go and plant a tomato or a potato in your, in your garden. And you make a way of finding life through those circumstances. He says, because unnecessary young boys or families have to go into armies and into war to be bombed up about discussions like that in this world. In that day, that some people would have to make a decision sometimes. We we'll learn what is going to be protective for us. What is our human rights? How do we defend one another? How can we not abuse one another? How can this process be managed in a way that is protective for everyone? And those who still want to fight about a party, by all means. The one day we get angry, it's painful what our parents went through, but this universe is crazily painful. And the whole world is looking up on how Russia bombs Ukraine, it's the same apartheid. And how Russia finds himself endangered is the same apartheid. I always say the Russia-Ukraine situation is the same situation. No one is more inferior than the other. But these processes is amazing and it can be managed very well. And it's not so difficult. We know that everyone wants to hold on to their processes and everyone can hold on to their educations. Because all the educations are required, but there's a way that when people tell Rabia that Rabia should be professional, then other people should also be professional. Then that way of managing should also be professional. If you want to sit in Rabia, at least it's a vogue room and you don't want the light to switch off. And you don't want Rabia to be all over the place. And you want all the edges of Rabia's hair to be perfect when she sits on that day on this phone. And you don't want to see her naked on this phone. Then all of those processes also need to be perfect. Because that Rabia Elise is perfect. Well, the whole world learns about it. And listens into the discussion. The only thing that we ask for all the teams that are managing these processes is to manage it in a way that is protective for humanity.
because we are human beings on this earth and it's human beings that are talking to human beings on this earth. And family remains family and it's amazing. We appreciate everyone who have not found themselves arguing the whole time about all of these matters. We appreciate everyone in this all of these matters who went out to go and defend someone else's country. We appreciate everyone who defended one another. But the way that all of these processes are managed should really be firm. We appreciate when we look at a situation and China goes in and make a, a, a trading deal with Palestine because not have a trading deal. Because Palestine finds themselves also arguing with Israel the whole time. And China is not against Israel, but everyone knows right from wrong. And if it looks to you like China wants to be the strongest on their day, I do not care. I care the fact that China goes and China says, Palestine, be calm. Let's discuss this matter. And they didn't say, let's discuss it. They said, let's make a trading deal. They went to Russia, Ukraine, they said, Putin, let's discuss this matter. America also is very firm about protecting and discussing the matters. And America also has the education that they don't want the world to look at them like they are now the wrong America in the world. No, it is that they also find themselves in these challenges. And they also affirm that their celebrities are also not going to be killed out every month by humanity. It was a time that celebrities was dying every month and celebrities was there to educate humanity about all of these processes. And America was firm to say that they're not going to have their celebrities killed anymore. Jamie Foxx went to the hospital and we prayed. I prayed in this house and I said enough is enough. Those guys are educating. Humanity accepts the education or humanity don't. You implement it in your country or you don't implement it in your country. But these things need to be revealed because the world looks like this and humanity might be exposed to those colors. Countries might be exposed to all of those things that the celebrity houses educate us about. But you can't go and have the celebrity house killed out because of a white and a black argument. And humanity goes and they go on Instagram and they vote and Rabia looks on the Instagram page and the, vote, and the voting says they now vote for a Titanic vote. And then Rabia looks at the was a few months ago and then Rabia looks at all the likes and Rabia says, but a Titanic vote to me seems so who's the Titanic vote now in this world to all of these people? And I think I saved it on my Instagram page at Rabia. And everyone likes and likes and likes and Rabia says, nah, man, I know it's easy to like on Instagram because the phone goes and you just like and like and like. But some people exactly know what that is about. And people went to go and vote and they liked and they liked and they liked it. There was thousands of people on there. And many people in the world knew about that process. And today, that Titanic team, they are under the sea waters, amazing waters, amazing journey, amazing story, but it was yet for someone else, another Jesus story. And the celebrities are really not going to be the Jesuses also in this world. The Bible says it is finished. If the celebrities educate you, if Jesus educates you, and you don't first with what Jesus is saying, you cannot go and kill him out again. We have been educated, the Bible says. Everyone is educated right from wrong. Humanity can't go and go and edu go and vote on, on the celebrities' houses lives. And every month it's one celebrity, another celebrity, another celebrity, and humanity gets a good excitement about it. Humanity educates the celebrity house educates humanity on what they might be exposed to in this world. That's an education room. The world is an education room. And the celebrity house in that America is firm that no one is going to chase them around also. The European celebrity house are still dying sometimes. There was a group of Europeans that died a few years ago. The voice team or some celebrity team. And for some people, it's an amazing laugh and an amazing story. And then Russia, Ukraine are bombed up and then the whole world wants to get depressed about it. And 
And on that day, Rabia Elise wants to know from everyone who gets excitement when someone else is dying. That those who get excited about it. If you find yourselves in it, then the situation looks like a Russia Ukraine. And then who complains about that on that day? The one thing about celebrity houses in this world, you cannot tell me that the American celebrity house wants to be the main house. No. Celebrity houses is like this. Everyone independently educates in the countries. And I always say that I cannot believe that China and America is even arguing in this year and in this day. Because according to my understanding, the Chinese house and the celebrity house has always been working together. The problems that we write, that we watch, even educates us about it. For years, there's Chinese people, Jackie Chan them, for years they have been in America and these educations. The situation got better, yes, they had arguments, yes. But celebrity house is celebrity house, and the one intertwines with the other one in the other country. Parliamentary discussions might be that the parliamentary discussions are being discussed. So when it comes to our family, amazing Mama Ananas looks like Oprah Winfrey, looks like half of American sometimes. The education is that, that our Mama Anna's process is that this protective environment in this world is amazing. When my Mama Anna was going with us out to the waterfront and we had an amazing outing and the children started to drink and grow up, Mama Anna looked at the situation, Mama Anna had a good laugh because Mama Anna said, your children kiss, y'all don't want to drink in front of me, y'all don't want to smoke a cigarette in front of me. And Mama Anna learned that her children in this world is going to have to learn to be fine with the things that they sometimes do. She was like, yes, children, it is sometimes dangerous. We went to New Orleans Park and Denise Bailey took us and we had an amazing time at New Orleans Park. And Mama Anna said, children, it's amazing also. But you can't be so shy to just smoke a cigarette or to drink your alcohol. You are growing up, you are married people. You are all pardoned for that. You are all growing up people. So you are all going to have to learn to be fine with your circumstances. You are all going to have to learn to be fine with the ways in education. Let me just go tissue paper quickly. You are Mama Anna said, you're all gonna, sorry for that, you're all gonna have to learn to be fine on your days. <laughs> you're all gonna have to learn to be, to be, to be, to be, to be not shy to do all those crazy things. You're all gonna have to learn to not be shy to drink your alcohol, drink it with respect, drink it with that, that is not abusive to the other, but learn to be fine when you're doing it. And Mama Anna learned that the children kids are still going to be all oh, too shy. And if our children, if Mama Anna's children kids are too shy on that day, and then Mama Anna is going to have to educate the children kids. Because if someone else do that wrong, then the children kids is going to say, why you do that wrong? Why you do that wrong to the someone else? But this universe requires everyone to live in the openness and in the amazingness of all the colors. Now, Mama Anna learned that her children kids are going to be that generation of humanity that says that that still argues about the amazing way of life. And everything about life is amazing, but all the colors are required to be accepted. The celebrity educates us. Because if the celebrities do not educate us, what if countries are exposed to that? Who's going to discover us in their day? How is the reaction going to be along most mankind in their day? Because countries can't be bowled up and then bombed down because of acceptance. Because some people can't accept the fact 
And they're the amazing colors of all these colors. Humanity would have to learn that they're going to be exposed to all of this. And they're going to have to learn that the education is that. And that when the education is that, they will have to educate one another to be fine. And that, they, that someone else is introduced to that something new. And when they're introduced to that something new, they're going to have to be fine, learn to be fine about it. And we know why some parents say, but we cannot educate the something new just in all the colors in one. Because if you educate it in that way, then people are going to sometimes find themselves abused because people grew up and are the elders in this house that are reasoning differently. A young boy might see someone else exposed and they might want to go and abuse the person. There's rape cases about it. There's all of these educations. But the house looks like all of these colors. And when we get the process of education right, our select television educations our educations on every level and we accept that the celebrity house of america educates in that way that every country are different and they're gonna have to educate independently rubia says this is rubia elise this is self education in season and we educated it on our vogue businesses exactly like that. When you go through our Instagram page that educates you, this is all the colors. This is what you might be exposed to. This is the celebrity house in general. This is a human being on earth. The one day they will be dressed in like this, the next day they will be dressed like this. The one day they will be exposed like this, the next day they will not be exposed like this. The one day they will have a professional people of color discussion, the next day they will have an argument with the Malvina name. And there's no professional about that it is the human being Rebea Elise in the awakeness of being a human being on earth that educates it on my business when you look at all those amazing colors of evoke and evoke page and then on, on our Rebea Instagram page and you scroll through all the colors of mankind and you look at Mama Anna's photo and you hear the Mama Anna story and one of our videos on our Facebook pages you learn that mankind would have to learn to educate. But the requirement that the education is going to be the human being needs to be accepted. The human being educated. I was surprised when my sister Antoinette started to dress funny in 2020. In 2021, when I went on Instagram, and everyone was on Antoinette's page excited, and Malvina did what Antoinette also do. And Antoinette educated, and Antoinette sometimes was in the gym and with the swords on, and then the next time, the church says Antoinette, it's words of time, and Antoinette's the main worshiper, and the church has Instagram. And the church appreciated the education, the English church, it was Europeans in England, yes. And those are those elder pastors and those elders appreciated Antoinette's education. And I learned that if Antoinette educates like this, Malvina accepted, the whole world accepted, I'm going to have to listen to what this is all about. And I went through and I listened to all Antoinette's posts and educations. So one Sunday, a long skirt, the next Sunday, a sword, the next Sunday, the bodice is a little bit overweight. And the education came through and everyone implemented it. And some people tried to abuse Antoinette through those educations. But I learned that there's an education and that we're going to have to learn to accept one another the way that we are in this world. And we appreciate Antoinette for that. Antoinette went off because she was abused about it on Instagram. And I checked on who was all the abusers and I was very disappointed about it. But I can't not be disappointed. And the only thing I then said is if my winner, them are part of the abusers, do not do those things if you all know what's wrong. Do not abuse my sister because I know my sister can educate very harshly. She can the one day be very fit and the next day be just so skinny. She can the one day have a long hair with him and the next day he is all off. But when my Antoinette introduces herself to you all, don't abuse that of her. And when you are in the education room and you have learned it from her, don't try and abuse and manipulate a house about it. Because everyone had an amazing introduction to all of us in this world. When Antoinette comes to visit you all and she leaves the room and then they'll have a good laugh about circum circumstances. Is it right from wrong in all of those days? Googling in all of our houses. And Googling a shit in this world. 
Your our houses are completely full of voice recordings of the discussions of gossiping and Rabia has listened to a lot of what the people played in my house. All of these amazing devices in our rooms have got recordings in. So what we are saying is do not abuse one another. And when it comes to the Ukraine and Russia discussion, we are going to discuss that that some people are gonna have to make a decision to decide what to do about the situation because they can't wait for lawyers to decide. And then when Putin finds himself and he understands the whole situation, why he's discussing this and why he has to be strong and why the Russia country has to be strong against all of these arguments in the world, then he would have to mention that and the human Zelensky needs to discuss that in a way that is fine for everyone. And it's not about being the strongest in the world, it's about the argument in the world can look crazy sometimes. And on that day that the argument in this world looks crazy, then Putin can't still just be a Russia on his own. Then he's gonna need a brother country. And he can't have his brother country then still make a treaty with another country who sometimes against his Russia sprint. Because he was the main man that knew that this is the office environment and this is the discussions that happens in the world. Putin knew about it. Putin knew about all the gossiping. This is who plans against who can, whose country. And Putin exactly knew about world wars. And he exactly knew where world war starts from. And Putin went and he go and went to go and investigate countries. And he prevented that world war in a very firm way. And Russia sometimes would have to listen because they are born in the same presence like a Malvina Rabia in that same environment. And they would have to listen to one another and what they are discussing. Because it's not a discussing, it's discussing, but we name it a discussing because it must be a discussing and not a bomb up about it. And they find way to manage all those prisoners that wants to come out of prison. They are also putting pressure on Putin about it. Because they did things for Putin's business sometimes, for, 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 for all the managers and the business owners in the world's businesses. Those prisoners want people to stand for them and to argue their case against processes that are sometimes lawyers. But when you look at the prisoners in prison, then it looks like a certain type of human being that are sitting in the prison and have to sit in there for generations and for years. And some of those gangsters said that they need someone to defend their case against people who only want to listen to the process and the offers and when humanity are normal human beings. That the process in this world is a certain type of boy goes to prison and they are in prison for generations of time. And that young boy says, but I can't be in prison all my life. Every generation it's this type of boy. That process can't be fine, he says to humanity. You're going to have to find way through discussing this matter because this present situation can't look like this in this world. When you look on prisoners' photos, you will see it looks like a certain type of person. Some countries have to be firm to firm to reason for that. To look at the situation in a way that it is revealed to mankind. That it's not scientific knowledge that the prisoners had enough of it. And that the people going into warriors in the front line in the army had enough of it. They had enough of all of these unnecessary arguments. They are firm about get your processes in this world right. Because when it comes to all of those 
discussions, then all of those discussions leads to a war. And when you work in an office, I say that I cannot work according to the manager's processes. I say that to be at least when I'm in the office, then I decide for myself. When I'm in the office and the manager tells me, Rabia, I do that, then I work at my own pace. There's times that I sit at the office desk that I'm really doing nothing at that desk. To teach that manager, this is me, and I work on this pace. This is this world, and this world is like that. If you're going to go according to the rules and to the books the whole time, then the book had a revelation season and humanity didn't even reason that revelations means that's where life ends for many people. Rubia says, in that book called the Bible, you add a scripture for me and you call it the spirit of freeness. And you said she's a woman because she gave birth to everyone, every human being on this earth. And you call her a woman. And I said, and in this Bible, after this verse of revelations, you put the freeness of the spirit. And they argued with me about it. And I gave them and I said it loud in my house. And they recorded everything I educated them about the freeness of spirit. And I said that scripture means that there's no end to his reign. He's a he because he's the man that authorities over the household. He's a she because he gives birth to him. And I say in submission is in that, that then women found themselves challenged because of the discussion of the womb of a woman. The man sets the order in the house. And he doesn't order a human being by the book of Revelations. He orders by freeing her with what her opinion is in discussion. <clears throat> I said, and when Rat and Naomi, and I gave the scripture to pass the free them in 2020, and I said, and when Rat and Naomi found themselves in challenge and they lost all the men in the house. And then the Bible of the freeness of spirit, I didn't educate the freeness of spirit to pastor them yet, but the freeness of spirit was then birthed by the woman that had to make a decisive, constructive decision concerning the womb of mankind, the womb of the universe. That is the woman that does not give her authority of the, the house that are not going to be destroyed by the revelation requirement, by the judgment of it. Because the eyes of the spirit was many, the revelation book says. The legs was many human beings. And the book of Corinthians said, but the reaction is that every one of them plays a part in decision making. That no man overrules the house, no woman overrules the house. But the freeness is the birth of her decisions, her choices, her constructive reprimanding, her way of parenting in the house, her way of this not dishonoring her men, but requiring and realizing that this vastness of the body of God that are revealed and explained in the Revelation scripture, that says that his eyes was this, his feet lost like wheels, he was like many wings. And the spirit of the freeness of that reaction is when the human body goes into the grave of the book of Revelations. The freeness of the reaction of the attitude of the right from wrong that's educated in the book of Genesis about it. That when God looks at all of this amazingnesses on earth, all of this amazingnesses in the creation, and he did it in seven days. He said that on the seven days, the Sunday is the right from wrong. He says, the Monday to the Friday, y'all can work in the office and go crazy about it. He says, and the craziness is when an airplane goes into the sea and it doesn't rise again. And someone says, go and, pump, go and, go and strike that airplane down. He says, but I make a decision between mankind and earth and the decisions of that airplane that flies in the sky. And the decision of the instruction that comes from the vault in the sky, that is the rains in the skies and the waters under the sea. He says, and I give mankind that opportunity to decide for themselves. 
because man can't find themselves on earth. But the amazingness of all of that is the right from wrong that we educated. The woman shall live in sin and she shall be the Eve baby on that day. But the requirement to accept that this is the way of life, that the snake was never a devil, that the snake was the tree and the tree had poison in, and the snake's presence I've educated another Saturday before is calmness and kindness and quietness. And when that spirit comes down and there's, and there's angriness on earth, then the snake poisons the earth with a gas because he loves his quiet and calmness. The Bible says, because the right from wrong is that everything should be considered. Mankind has the way to do, the right to do anything that they want to on earth. But God says, I become like a devil to humanity on that day. Because I'm God of the eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, the sins, the non-sons, the birds, the lights, the sky. God of all of those decisions concerning everything and that when mankind looks around them, when they sense within them, when they make decisions, it is the amazing power and strength that sometimes is invisible and sometimes it is visible to many. And the freeness of the spirit in that is when written the woman had to make a decision that the house need to be fended for. And another woman gave up on the decision and she said, but I can't go with y'all. And the woman and the red, and the red says to her grandmama, to her mama, na uomi, that I'm going with y'all. And the woman says to red, red, my life is so bitter in all of these arguments. The Bible, the book of red explains it. And she says to mama, to mama, na uomi, they say that when she says, my life is so bitter because the men in my world die, the men in mankind die on a daily basis, they go in prison, they are oppressed, and you have seen it with your very eyes because you have intermarried in my household. And now what can I now then provide you as a mama? And the daughter said, I do not care. And the mama said, but because you have not given up on me, let me go and introduce you to a new way of life, to a something new, to a spirit of new, the spirit of freeness. You have decided to be free about all that this is that sometimes makes us angry and bitter in our life journeys. And because you accepted that freeness of education. The other daughter said, I also accept freeness, but I will, ex I will learn it in my own spiritual way. I do not have to walk with your understanding to learn that the spirit is free. In the book of Ruth, the world received freeness in spirit that the book of Revelations was never the end for mankind, was never the end in this universe. But the right from wrong application is when the spirit, the human body goes into the ground, the spirit needs the calmness of peace and that is explained in everything concerning the word. And the freeness of that spirit is the right from wrong application that doesn't kill one another in the book of Revelations. And while I do not want to be in church mindset, we really need to really educate thoroughly. And you do not want to be in church mindset because you respect the education of the presence of it. The education of pureness about it. But you also accept that it requires you to accept all the colors about the humanity and about the universe. Because the God of all of the scholars is now not only the God of the spirit of mankind only, but the amazingness of creation that is every part of creation that comes in reasons with humanity. And I say, and then that part comes and they keep Putin and Zelensky in question the whole time and Putin and Zelensky needs to argue and they need to defend their case and humanity need to defend their case the whole time. And Rabia says, and in the discussion room where Putin and Zelensky needs to argue and defend their case and answer because Mama Universe wants to know if you are Putin and you are the main mafia in this world and everyone in prison are waiting on you for an answer and you are the main officers in this world and Zelensky doesn't even listen to you, then how does it look to mankind? Then Putin says, but because we are one house and we are one family, the decision needs to be one. And Putin reasons his case with Mama Universe. 
And he gives his answer constructively. And Rabia says, but the freeness of spirit is that, that it is by the revelation season for those people that are finding themselves in war. And the freeness of the protective environment is the right from wrong in all of those questionings. Is that we can explain and educate this because if Rabia can educate it in her season, then she could have educated it without having to bomb someone up about it. And Putin said, but I need to be firm about this because the world looks like this. And it sounds like Gua. And Rubia says, but Putin, you look like Brother Richard. And Zelensky sometimes looks like a Brother Arton and a Brother Jacques. And my whole family line, Brother Martin. Is this. And Putin says, because the house are one. And while we are at it, we need to work on the amazingness of the amazing communications of mankind. When mankind is not on earth anymore and the human body goes into the ground or dies out, there's a process of the eyes and the ears and the sound of mankind that comes from another part of the universe. And mankind needs to manage and the billionaires that has got the money, Mama Universe says, needs to manage that process so that the process is fine. When the human body goes into the ground, then the communication stays the same in the whole universe. And they need to work on that process still. And everyone needs to eat from the trees and needs to eat what there is while they can. And the billionaires still need to fix that process that they work on the eyes of mankind and on the ears and on the sound and on the voice of where we educate from so that that process can be fine in the whole rotation of this education in our generation. And while everyone works on that process, no one is angry with no one. No, everyone understands that everyone's managers in their offices differently. But some countries need to be provided for. And those who can provide, provide. And those countries that can go and work with the Greens, that they can do that while we are working on that process in offices of where the sound comes from. So that when the human being are not there, then all of those functions still functions on earth. And when we prevent the war in all of these discussions is when we accept the education and when we learn that, when we apply all of that in our countries, like Dubai was calling Rabia in. And they said to Dubai, but I give you the ensign. And Dubai says to them, but give me Rabia Elise in the band. And they says to Dubai, but the ensign is the ensign and she sings better than Rabia Elise. And Dubai was firm that he wants that person in the photo to come to Dubai in 2004. And I went to Dubai and Dubai says so easily, the process of the world is sometimes like that. And you sometimes give your country up when I say I need to appear in the discussion room. Don't give me the answer because on the day I know why I say Rubia Elise needs to come to Dubai. And when they had the discussion and I was the person that traveled to Dubai and the ensign was the amazing singer that sings amazingly, Rubia Elise was called there because so easily South Africa gives South Africa up. In Dubai I say I have built my country like this for years because of the way that I manage my country. And Dubai says, and because I manage it in a constructive way of accepting all the amazing colors in this universe, and I'm a calm person and I don't argue about it and I sit on the floor sometimes and eat my food and I wear this long dress here and I don't complain about it he says and then some people send prostitutes into my country and i even do that for them dubai says and i don't argue about it dubai says but if at that moment south africa might have sent the answer into dubai south africa might have given south africa over to dubai once again and dubai would have built another upstairs country and he says it's not difficult he says it's easy processes but the way of world is sometimes exactly that Dubai says, after that, y'all can send me a humbabani to intermarry. But I tell y'all, I want to speak to Rubia Elise, not in person, but her brother. And her brother says, but Dubai, we are firm on our music and we are not, not negotiating it with y'all. Dubai educated us in that year so easily. We give our countries over and the next country are built up and everyone questions why. We were educated that in 2004, next year is the year 2024. And I always say that in the year 2024, there's a lot that is gonna be affected by 2004 discussion. 
And that might, I always say it's like the years are taken, it's the same era, the same time period, the same time frame, the same teams, the same way of process, but the requirement is always a something new applied. And also that the discussion room might again be that, and the discussion might be that again, South Africa, and that South Africa, when the BLEs educate South Africa about it, the South African people are always listening into my education. And then they learned that 2004 questioning and way of reasoning was now going to exactly probably be happening somewhere in 2024. And in 2024, South Africa would need to reason in that way that is protected for South Africa. And they would need to not question themselves so easily. And while we are at that, that is what we wanted to say for today on how we can prevent war. We would want to discuss it amazingly further, but those are the basic preventative things that we can do to help prevent the arguments in our countries. There is not really something that we do not know. It is just that right from wrong. It is just not questioning one another. It is just not abusing one another. It is that education that happened in primary school. It is that, that the office the discussion in Russia, Ukraine is not a war discussion, but it is a human discussion. It is that, that who can discuss humanity in this amazing universe it is that that who is questioning Putin and Zelensky and they, they look like they're sitting in a courtroom and having to answer the whole time it is that that Rabia reasons and say that human resources is an office process but the individual person in Ukraine is and in Russia is the person that's walking on the streets like a brother Anton that is the freeness of the spirit of everything concerning the womb of Mama Anna that while the office environment is the lawyer team that manages the war discussion, the human protective right is the human resources team that is not only the office at Nubli, but that was a Wendy Newton that is also like a mama and a parenting mama in the office, but that is now Rabia Elise, the human being that is also Wendy, the human being that is also Rabia reasons differently. And the implementation of the protective requirement of that environment is that we do not find ourselves the whole time in argument because of a law discussion or because of an office environment, but the human human that is the involved in the war that finds themselves in challenge by that are the everyday human being that should also when the lawyers discuss the matter the opinion of Rabia Elisa's opinion in this vote page is of so much important that Instagram don't delete her post Facebook don't delete her post because the human right of the Ukrainians is that they can say that we require sometimes to speak someone to speak for us because this is not an office, this is humanity. And if the office closed from nine to five, the Bible says, and a Sunday is that freeness of right from wrong. And we need that in this decision making time sometimes. And we understand the amazingness that it has been educated that the world is sometimes against one another. And that Putin and Zelensky sometimes need to strengthen themselves to be firmer in the education of all of these requirements. But we also listen to the human protectiveness of the Russia, Ukrainians, the Sudanians, the argument. If the argument goes from country to country, I always say, we do not educate and say, stop the war to start again. We say, end the war so that it can be prevented to begin to start again, you know? It's very amazing, but the world should learn to work together as one we see that the other day is. The office environment has become the new world order that some people say they are firm and that they want those processes in the community and they want the community to abide to that. That is the church is now an office and the office of the church is now also the business and the community men members, if they sin in the country, then they are being struck down in South Africa. Then Rabia Elise, South Africans get your three accents right because all the colors are required to be accepted and appreciated and you all can't go and strike one another down about it the whole time, but you're going to have to know that the office was this and the protective right for every one of y'all is to defend and to be applying that there is right from wrong in your daily choices and you cannot negotiate that with anything that's non-negotiable y'all don't give y'all's countries up so easily you'll learn what the discussion is about and your voice that that is protective for south africa and if you want to have a good laugh at Rubia today, do that. But tomorrow, be professional in what she educates and listen to the education. 
sometimes he says it's not so difficult because i'm not that professional person that's gonna want to have the amazing facebook page no it's a lights on lights off moment and the lights switch off and i don't complain about it and everyone has a laugh but it's sometimes disturbing because sometimes people really want to listen to the opinion of what you are saying and i say and then you put on your headphones and you listen to the opinion if the photo is a little bit disturbing And if you have to listen again to what Rabia is saying, then do that. I say that, that I always have that, that I realize when things are happening. And I mention it sometimes before. And it's not because of creating an environment. It's because the discussion in this world is like that. And you notice it on the social page and you can really listen to what people are doing. I said all these things that I'm listening and that I'm doing, no one has told me before in person. It's how I read things. I go on an Instagram page and I read and exactly know what they're reasoning about. And I exactly can explain what the solution sometimes to that is and how it can sometimes be prevented. I say, and then when you learn that baby Rabia is like that, then you don't chase the babies down like a baby Jesus. No, you learn to listen to what the education in the universe is about the baby. The baby sometimes reasons differently. The baby sometimes explains things differently. But it's all the children sometimes in the world. And baby Rabia said, but I'm not going to be your baby Jesus in these discussions. I will explain to you my opinion, yes. But the crucifixion of the Jesusness is not happening in my season. Because my birthright is my birthright and I give my opinion in the way that I give it. The Bible say, because when Mary and the other woman came to the tomb and to the grave of Jesus, the tomb was empty. Because that Rabia is not going to be in spirit in, in prison by y'all, and she's not going to be in person in prison by y'all. Humanity can do that to one another, but Rabia made a firm statement, and Rabia said that while y'all are chasing one another down like the baby Jesus and the Pharisees, this Rabia says that the spirit of freeness, the birthness is my birthright, and this is where I'm at, and this is I educate from it, and I everything concerning it, and it is amazing in this universe. Jesus, the Bible says, and Jesus says, and the Bible says, it is finished. The book, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, it is finished. Y'all don't have to crucify one another about it anymore. If someone educates y'all and y'all differs, then listen to what they're trying to tell or what they're trying to say. The woman says, because I know my children, I know them better than myself. Mary and Elizabeth says, we give birth, we are cousins. And then Mary went to the grave with another sister I can't remember. And I educated Pau community in spirit about it in 2020. I was sitting on Pau Mountain with Jacqueline Fortin. And I says, Mama Hena Fortin is Mama Hena Fortin. The education was there, the television celebrity house. Mama Anna Philander is Mama Anna Philander in Pontebook Street State next to Mama Hena Fortin. I sit in the houses went like this. Mama Hena Fortin said, children kiss. Sit in front of the television, it's movie time on a Friday night. Mama Anna Fortein went to Sister Elizabeth house in the air prayer meeting and Rubia sits in the Mahena Fortein's house and Mahena Fortein's children are drinking and drunk and smoking and the Mahena Fortein is swearing and Mama Anna says that this is this universe, man. There you pray, there someone, Mama Hena Fortein swears and says, Fucking children, is how you love Becca. And it's crazy, but it's amazing education. And Mama Anna, and Mama Anna, Mama Anna looks like mother and child, yes. And Mama Anna, for ten educated Rabia, this film piece is very interesting, but it's a way of life, and some people find themselves in that book of Revelation called this film piece. And that book of Revelation sometimes don't give freeness in these films. So watch these films, Mama Anna said, so that y'all can listen to what's happening in this world. Mama Anna said to Mahina, can I again ever sit here? Because I again just need to go there to Mahina and his family's house because it's again praying time. Yeah. No, Mahina Fotein says, leave the children to see him. Bridget Fotein and Rabia grew up. Bridget is still all zimzam about all the educations. But we find our way through all the educations, and it's amazing educations. And I invited Pau community to Pau Mountain in 2020. The woman in Jacqueline Fortein, my Anna Fortein's granddaughter, came and she says, Ah, I'm on Rabia. These people in those educations, they're not even realizing what we are saying. 
And they find themselves in all of these, but they don't even want to listen to what you're explaining to them. And me and Jacqueline went to the mountain and we prayed and Jacqueline said, free yourselves of all of these arguments. And she didn't even know about arguments. I didn't know. She just said, free yourself of all of this, man. This South Africa is full of arguments. And she says, I promise you, my sister, I can remember Auntie Macy's child, Ronaldo. Ronaldo Manuel's brother took us to the mountain that morning. And me and Jacqueline went and I see Jacqueline quiet time in this moment. Jacqueline says, honestly, my sister, that's what we require. You enjoy it in New Zealand. Our community wants to argue about quietness. And we were like Mary and mom, like Mary and Elizabeth, the one giving birth to the spirit and Jacqueline explaining in person, in person to me. And the Bible says, and Mary was pregnant and Elizabeth was pregnant. The Bible says, and they were cousins because of my henna for ten, look, my Anna Philander. And the Bible says, and in the family of the one house, there was excitement. And the other one, Rubia says to Jacqueline, I believe you, my sister, your house was very drunk in New Apostolic Church. Our house is Christian Church, but the education is that the baby in my spirit says it agrees with what you are saying. And Jacqueline says, and that baby in your womb that is the spirit, you free yourself of all of these depressions and arguments. He says, and you find your way through life, whether you drink on that day or don't drink on that day. Swear on that day or don't swear on that day. And, see, and we went to an early morning like Mary and Elizabeth. And Paul community was obedient because they didn't go to the prayer meeting. And Jacqueline says, and in all of this craziness and quietness, there's protectiveness for everyone. That photo of, New, of, of Pal, Pal Mountain where I had the brown New Orleans well coat on, on the mountain with Jacqueline for 10. And Mary and Elizabeth was excited and the babies was excited to be born on this crazy earth because they said, Rabia said, but it's the baby that questions humanity because the baby don't want to be born before the baby understands the process of this generation. And they say, but the baby wants to learn, is there going to be a build up and a bomb down or is it going to be build up and humanity understands that the build up is not going to be bombed down again. And Elizabeth says to Mary that the baby in my womb recognizes your education, that it's the spirit that's talking to him. And Mary says to Elizabeth, but I did not sleep to anyone to be able to explain this to me because by the woman I suffered, I give birth to the baby. And he is then a man. And Mary and Elizabeth said, so let's not argue about who is the man in the house. And Mary says, but the man in the house was not sleeping with me, but I am pregnant about it. And Elizabeth says, even though it's not him that gives birth to the baby and you are the woman and he's the man, the man in my house says, by the spirit of your voice, the baby is not going to disrespect you because he's a man. He will respect you for being a woman in this amazingness of motherness. And the women were excited and they gave birth to baby Jesus and to the other cousin Elizabeth had her baby. And the education is so amazing. And it's never only a Bible, it's never only a book, it's never only a story, and it never only stays in the revelations because the freeness of it is important. And that is what I wanted to say for today. We can again, there's enough time that we can again discuss and educate on all of these educations. But the amazingness of no one that argues of the celebrities that can't, the team of people that finds themselves living in the films and harming people because the film says they should harm people, that revelation of it is not acceptable by Rabia Elise.
And what I want to educate from my Mama Anna-ness about the home of Oprah Winfrey, Mama Anna parentingness, is that in the freeness of Mama Anna spirit, that is also educating in America, the protective environment is that when people find themselves living in the films, the protectiveness is that what happens in the films should not happen in person. And that people can't go and eat this out in the community. And that if there's people in different countries that manage the process like that, and it's a parliamentary house and it's called the New World Order, then we say where the process started at, what really educates us that something new that y'all have added is wrong because my something new is different to your something new. Y'all add something to where the revelations in Rubia say you don't find yourself in educating that that film should now be acting out in the community it's a natural way of life and it's a freeness of spirit and when Rabia finds herself maybe in the film she will find herself in the protective environment of where she's at but the government should not go and manage the process to send messages that that one that now looks like that actor should that should happen in the country because that happened in the film that whole process of revelations is binding humanity and humanity needs to free themselves of it That's when they free themselves of making sure that they manage their countries independently. They find themselves out of war and preventing war discussions in this world and in other generations. Our family, they, South Africa chased our family around because our family was working at the hotels all these years because Mama Universe was educating us. Not in person, in the spiritness of it. Auntie Fandom's daughter is still working in the Holiday Inn of Port Elizabeth, still in the hotel life. Rupia leaves them. Razak was first at the hotel in Pal and then at the hotel in Oyster Lodge. Our family has been educated about the hotel wars in this world and how to prevent exactly that. And Mama Universe is still educating us. And Auntie Fen's daughter is, after all these years, she's almost 50 years old already, and she's still working at the Holiday Inn. She worked from Cape Town Holiday Inn to Port Elizabeth, and she's still employed in the education of it and how to prevent those wars out of South Africa and out of this world and how the world can learn on a spiritual level, on an educated level, and how to prevent it. The knees opened the hotel again to say that that education that Mama Anna then was at the hotel, no one's going to close that education down. Because the Hotel of Ostenburg Lot was a European team and there was Europeans that came and they had European wars every generation in Mama Universe educated them at Ostenburg Lot also out of all these European wars. And no one's going to chase us down about it, but everyone's going to listen to our education and they would have to implement it where it's required. That is where we are at with what we wanted to say. Thank you to the team of Sorty. There was a, a main mafia Sorty in Cape Town. He came, he's a European guy. He always used to drive. No, he's not there anymore. He's deceased. He always used to drive a Lamborghini. That he said he owns all the house in the prairies in those years. And then he always used to protect me and I never knew why. And he called me and I was always his girlfriend and I was always drunk. And he was the main mafia and he had all his mafia gangsters around, around him, gangsters, mafias around him. And he was always there. All the clubs in Kells River always used to protect me. And I never knew why. It's because of the education room about it. And because they were in all these discussions in the world. And he came very far away with his lamp, with his, with, his, with his car, and he came to check how is Rabia, and he brought all his guys, and he introduced them to me, and he's like, make sure that this one is fine, and don't harm this one. He was very protective to me. All the guys has always been so protective to me. So yeah, they are all listening, and they really are managing their South Africa, and they really want their South Africa to be fine. They asked the what's the his teams? Yes, they were all coming coming to Pal, and then we all said then then Buru got excited. Arabia Buru had a, a, a relationship with Tema, right? The Al sister of the guys. And they all were Arabia. And that was education in Chicago by school was them. It was education. And it's still education, but South Africa needs to keep the argument out and everyone needs to manage the process properly. But they are still probably managing it in our house and in discussions, but it needs to be fine for everyone. And the parliamentary house needs to learn that all my family works by all the prisons in South Africa, yes, and my family knows the whole story. And for those who don't know, they really know and they must know because they are working by all the prison gates. 
So they, they probably know already, and sometimes they really don't know the Sagilas, yeah. That this is really education, and everyone is trying to not argue with anyone, but they are trying to prevent war from being in South Africa, and everyone manages the borders, but it must be managed in a very firm way and protective way for everyone. Other than that, that's all that we wanted to say. Thank you for the South African teams that managing it well. Dubai and your team there, don't argue with our guys and don't disrespect our guys there in South Africa. And especially not our Cape Town guys because they're really firm that they really are not going to be disrespected by anyone. And they're really firm on all of those processes. So Cyril Ramaphosa, don't argue with me about Melvina, them, honestly. And because listen to what the discussion is in the room and why the Humbatanis and Humbabanis came to South Africa, not to steal South Africa away, but to really prevent this war from the African borders also. And many of those processes properly. And the other thing is that, that the, the whole story is don't argue with us about it because everyone in this whole process knows how to manage their processes properly. And don't abuse the prisoners with all of these arguments because they've been part of the office room like a Rabia Elise. And they're really sometimes listening to everyone's opinion in the world. And don't disrespect the guys and don't, Cape Town woman, don't give South Africa up to Dubai for nothing. Because it makes the guys angry. Because every time they have to be disrespected because of a Dubai guy. And the only thing Dubai says, if I could have had your South Africa, I would have taken it a long time ago. And then the South African guy's reasons, but don't disrespect our South Africa about it. And don't go via Putin and China about it. Because our South African house is our South African house. And and Africa is also firm on that. And they also say it to America in that same way. So the Cape Town woman that gets angry with the Cape Town guy, gangster guys that wants to call Dubai for help, the Cape Town, the South African mafias is not going to accept that. Because between Dubai and them, they have a discussion room. And everyone respects everyone's house rooms. Because New Zealand are respected by all the mafias also. So you're going to have to learn to respect South Africa in that same way. You can't go around looking for protection by Dubai like a Malvina running after a beer and then they don't even know what the discussion is about and at the end of the time Alvina goes to intermarry and then South Africa has to argue the whole time with Dubai and the only thing the South African guys say is do not disrespect our men on our streets and Malvina then find out what the situation is but don't go and call help for protection but learns to protect your countries and for just an outset, well and bolded, I appreciate the education about it. But those meetings that y'all are having now, y'all are running after Tani about it, and after Butatini about it from the parliamentary house, the Cape Town guys is going to have none of that nonsense. Because that's why the, the Africans came from Africa into South Africa, because that South Africa is not going to be given over to no one in this world. And everyone would have to learn to accept that. And anyone who runs for protection anywhere in the world, you're not going to disrespect our guys. Cape Town girls, get out of their Dubai mindset. It's amazing. It's crazy. But get out of that mindset. Dubai manages East Dubai. Cape Town guys manages their Cape Town. And so the Ramaphosa said it's South Africa with them. And we have those discussions. And if you all can't get out of it, then we discuss it via the highways of the whole world the whole time. And that's how I do it. And we continue to do it like that. But that's about it. America don't want to own their beer there. Mama Anna only look like Rubia. Thank you for defending my case there sometimes, yes. But don't go and disrespect my homies because they are my guys. So he is our people. I don't know if he was European or South African, but don't disrespect my house. Valerie's have closed down. Edward Street is still going strong. Walter, them, and all of those guys, the cricket teams, the inter unions of Dubai and of Doha, Auntie Evelyn Mars, them, what is his name, Grant Johnson and King Charles, don't disrespect my homies because I saw that communication also coming through. King Charles is managing via Grant Johnson and via Pastor T, Pastor Tuff, them. I do not negotiate your giving South Africa over to Dubai or to any pastoral seat or to any kingdom in this world. All those processes get it right, and otherwise, we go highway the whole time around this world, around the peninsula. That's how we prevent war. And I had to mention anything and everything about it. And we can go highway. The Sagilas is not going to give their Africa up. They're not going to give their South Africa up. The children kiss our South Africa intermarries, our Malchas, our Sugila families. And our, all of our families, we educate that in Cape Town, in two Johannesburg, in Malvinas, them Zumbabanis need to edu accept our education. We're not going to give our South Africa up. South Africa, Mbatanis, Gilas, all of us, and intermarrying with the colored, we educate exactly that. And no one's going to steal our African South Africa away from us. 
other than that that's about it that i wanted to discuss everyone be firm when the situation goes crazy we go haywire around the world the peninsula in 30, 60 seconds i can do that for everyone i say i can eat i can do anything and everything <laughs> yes anything and everything because we are not gonna now not give our south africa up and what else did i wanted to say yes i talk how many words in 60 seconds all of those words in 60 seconds all of us went through the education years and we say like that if the situation gets crazy i turn in on it and i go hey why the side and the whole world and our whole teams go hey why the way they are at and that's how we do it the whole time other than that have an amazing season everyone knows what hey why means hey why means if they go that way then we go this way you know and we do it the whole time we're gonna have to keep on with that process thank you that's how we prevent the war 